Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, yeah, we lost the Orion last episode. Um, and honestly, I, I feel bad that we lost it, but the way we lost it, um, technically we lost it to the beef, the Dire Star. And I pinned um, the beef's video of the Dire Star um, in the comments section for that video. So if you haven't seen the last episode, go back and watch it. And watch the beef's uh, the beef's video on his dire star loadout, um, basically ten or eleven ERPPCs, clan ERPPCs. So when you get wrecked by something like that, it's like, you know, it really all he has to do is target you, and that's it, right? And that's pretty much what happened. I, there wasn't really much I could do about it. So I, I don't feel bad. It wasn't like it was a tactical error in any kind of way. As long as he could target us, it was game over. So, yeah, there it is. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, I have sold off a ton of stuff, a lot of clan gear that we weren't using, uh, and we have 8 million C-bills. So we have a lot of C-bills in order to get the last, or the uh, Black Knight and the Red Reaper up and running, uh, the last of the two mechs that we need to get up and running. So, and I want to bring a couple of ex other mechs forward. Uh, we're not going to do it right now, though, because we're still getting these ones up and running, but we're going to bring forward... Probably the Mjolnir and the um, Exterminator. Because uh, we want to run a couple of Heavy Lances. But right now, I think in order to lighten things up a little bit, uh, we are going to take a mission today. That's going to be relatively easy. I have to, like... I'm going to go here and do this mission. It's a limited gladiator combat. It's a one skull mission. It's deep in enemy territory. Uh, we're going to take it um, simply because uh, we need something lighter. Although... Like, cause these are like that's long engagement. This one's a uh, short engagement, but it's got consecutive deployments. We just don't have the mechs for that right now. As much as I like to take those, but we're gonna jump in here. And we're gonna take this mission today. I think just for a change of pace. Uh, it's a rogue loot cache. Who knows? We might get something good out of it. We might not. Um, but we're gonna travel here and we're gonna go after this one. So this is gonna be a short episode today. I'm really only gonna be able to pull this one mission off. Um, I have to uh, record a couple of episodes back to back because I'm not feeling very well and chances are I'm not going to be able to record tomorrow. And I've got limited time tonight so I'm really just going to uh, split a couple of episodes um, in half. Uh, no, we need to be honest and make sure that, uh, yeah, make sure that people get their mail. Because if they find out later on that you've withheld that information from them, they may, uh, um, you may end up with bad blood between uh, group members. So, but anyway, as I was saying, I'm not feeling very well. So we're splitting the episode into two, one mission per episode. Unless somehow this episode goes really, really fast, in which case we might take another mission. But um, yeah, um, so I just want to make sure you guys have episodes for the next few days if I'm sick. So that's the reason why I'm kind of splitting them up. Now my invasion series, I've already got the next four or five episodes already done and posted. I just need to up. I just need to uh, turn them on, and you'll be able to see them. So I'm not worried about that. But these the two uh, BattleTech series, I um, want to make sure we have uh, stuff for. So let's begin the mission here. Okay, I'm um, gonna go full salvage. Probably not gonna get anything good out of this. So uh, let's get Griff his confidence back up. So we're going to send him in, and we're going to put him in the Stormcrow Prime um, because I think that's probably going to be a fair fight. And let's deploy this. All right, here we go. Learn our environment. Cameras are rolling, so let's do this. Looks like a fire starter, which could be a problem, but he's got to get close, so. I don't think he's going to be able to do that. I'm sure he's got a couple of other idiots with him, so. Yeah, he's got idiots with him. We're going to be overheating, but. Oh, it's a piranha. Um, that's a lot of heat. Dial it back. He's got to get close. Good luck, buddy. Let's, um. 
Let's see if we can end this really fast. <laughs> ah, no. I don't think he can see us. That's fine, they won't be able to see us either. Have a seat, buddy. Yeah, they have no idea where we are. Yeah, you fortify yourself there, buddy. Yeah, we can't really get the other leg from here. Um, see if we can claim his head. We're shredding all our salvage. Let's just finish this guy off. Wow. Fuck it, just shoot him. See ya. Stop the camera guy and his buddy. It's the camera guy and the significant other. They're a couple and it's like, honey, I gotta go to work. Alright, let's go. I'll go with you. Because they can. They have no idea where I am. There you are. It's the camera guy. Hey, you tagged me. <laughs> you got better vision than your <laughs> so the pilot that called me out. That's just funny right there. Um, sure. There goes that leg. Have a seat. Just sit down right there. Thank you. You guys are out of your league. Just out of your league. <laughs> Fucking call me out. Go for it. Call me out. Wow. Call me out, buddy. Call me. Call me out. 50% uh, chance. Let's go up to the leg. Ooh. Christ, I can walk backwards faster than you can walk forwards. Let's just go for the head, because why not? We got Warlord next turn, so that's why I'm not worried about using the heat. We got a good clean shot on you anywhere? No, oh, you got, you're in the defile, that's not, not a big deal. Warlord, offensive push. Um, 
Let's just go for the head again. Why not? Fire everything. I think he's lost sight of me again. Uh, the tactical advantage of being in a clan mech. See what he does. What is up, buddy? Surprise! You can prove it one day, huh? You want to prove that I'm a cheater? You come out to the battlefield and prove I'm a cheater. Go to the real battlefield, not to this some tournament. <sighs> okay, what are we going to take here? Combat shield, take that. Cause sure, man. What else we got here? Stealth armor, how much is that worth? 300,000. Um, Bloodhound probes are worth how much? 570,000. Lots of tags. Um, Nothing we really want here. How much is the core worth? Well, it's the most expensive. Let's take that. Alright, we got junk. Alright, let's see what we get here. 900,000, so that's good. Uh, Gauss Rifle Plus, which we can sell. Watchdog Sleek Squeak Clan, which is we got five of them already, so we don't really need that. We can sell this. Sell, 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 sell. Um, sell and sell. Well, I guess it could have been worse. That was basically free sea bills. It paid for our jump here with this and a couple of extra pieces. Yeah. <laughs> 177 sea bills, eh? I don't know if we can handle that, though. I was almost worried there taking that one mech, but then I saw a lunar environment and I'm like, eh. Really? What kind of contracts is on this planet? We can't really do anything here. Blood feud. You know what? We're going to spend the rest of the episode. Let's go to the mech base. So I guess we're done really with the rack loadout. Um, unfortunately. Timberwolf C. We have to do some repairs on this guy. So we talked about possibly running Ultra 20s. And I'm thinking that's probably a good idea. We'll go with the ERs on the Black Knight and Ultra 20s on our Timberwolves. So, because they got the speed, we'll get them in close, hammer enemies with Ultra 20s. Uh, I want to try that. So, the first thing we're going to do, um, actually, you know what? We better make sure. What do we got mounted on this guy? We got weapon mounts on both arms. So, I need to pull those. So, I think I'm going to take. Because I want those for the Ultra 20s. So one for each mech. Let's refit this guy. Um, let's take the upper energy off right now. And the TTS energy. We're not going to need the fire control system energy. We'll leave these on. Um, so let's go that route. And let's see if we have anything else on the other Timberwolf that we might want. Um, no, I think this is fine for now. Yeah, the weapon mount's going to have to go on the other mech, but we'll we'll do that when we're ready to outfit these guys. So let's go and have a look at the Black Knight now. So. We've got two choices. We've got the um, Red Reaper here. The problem, so he's got 13 energy hard points. This guy's got 13 energy hard points. Um, the issue with this mech, you know, it, it is a good mech. Don't get me wrong. It's got a, it's got built-in um, 
large combat shield. Uh, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, we can put one on the other arm. Uh, let's just check real quick here. Where's our combat shields at? Um, combat shields. Why am I not seeing it? We just picked one up, so I know we have one for sure. There we go. Yeah, we can put another large combat shield on as well. But the problem is this Vibro Sword is seven tons. It's eating up seven tons of the mech weight. Um, heat dissipating. It's got a regular XL engine, so let's pull that out. Actually, let's work on this guy first. We're going to work on a super reduced damage version of this mech. Um, so let's go to equipment first, and here we want to put in... So these are apparently experimental cooling systems. Um, so anyone that any mech that runs really, really hot, it's a really good uh, thing to, to run. Um, so it'll automatically cool max when needed and stuff. And it re requires two free engine heat sinks. Um, it activates automatically. So rather than running heat sinks, this thing itself just sits in the uh, uh, e-cooling system. So we can put it in here, right? And we need to have an engine that's got plus three heat sinks in order to be able to do that. And it activates automatically, which is kind of cool. So we've also got prototype double heat sinks, which we can use in a prototype double heat sink kit. Um, which will reduce our heat significantly on this map. We've got a heat bank now. Uh, we've got, we don't have a client exchanger, but we do have exchangers we could use if we need them. So let's grab, I don't want to go, hmm. We do have a plus one cooling of that, right? We got plus two. If I go with a 300 core, like we're down to almost no weight, right? That's the problem. So this mech has to be really slow in general. 260 probably yeah maybe I don't know we haven't even max well the armor's not 100% maxed out but it's pretty darn close let's take two off the back and add two to the legs because most likely going to be facing the enemy mech so now we got that core in we can drop in the clan double heatsink kit here or the clan XL engine I mean which gives us a bit more weight uh, I'm not concerned about the cost because we do have a lot of C bills so let's um, go to equipment now, and we can add in the clan endo steel, which is good. Now heat dissipating, it's either that, or if we're going to make a mech that's going to be like super resistant to damage, feral lamellar, plus minus 20% damage taken combat seal, granting entrenched when you walk, and then this one another minus 15% damage taken. Um, and bulwark like and then this like another 20 this thing's gonna take like no damage um, so let's do that then we want to do um, let's not forget a few things here so we're gonna go with uh, where are you here we want this for sure let's just drop that in for now let's figure out all our other stuff that we need in first um, enhanced imaging I think so uh, we want to get sensors in, tracker, plus one to hit. I'm looking for a clan uh, fire control system here. We've got the advanced one. Unfortunately, we don't have the regular... We need a regular targeting clan targeting system in here, and we don't have one in order to use the TTS energy. So we'll just forget about that for now. Let's grab, because I want to use this, right? We can go this route. This is accuracy with all weapons. This is accuracy with just energy weapons, which is fine, because that's all we have. So we can just put a regular... Um, we could go this route. Plus one accuracy. 10% increased range. Crit chance. Or... We go breaching. 
Doesn't give us breaching shot though. I think I'm going to go this route. Just for now. Just for now. Okay, now we've got an upper energy. Where are you here? Uh, what gyro are we going to use? Defensive gyro, probably. For more evasion and stuff. Does it really matter, though? We do have two upper energy. Oh, that's nice. We put one on each side. Um, or go with more weight. And I think in this case, because we got our def we have our um, um, defense here. We don't really need to uh, get a, a little bit more evasion. I don't think it's really going to help us all that much, more so than actually having an XL, which is going to give us some more tons for either heat sinking or whatever we need it for. So let's go that way, that route. Now energy, you know my, my go-to on this one. Um, gonna put one of these in each arm. Uh, we need to figure out our e-cooling. Most likely, let's just do this so we can have a good sense of what it's gonna be like here. Let's grab our Protect Double Heat Sink Kicks. I don't think really there's any other way to do this. Um, I think it's gonna have to be that route if we're gonna go with what we're gonna do here. So let's see what our weight is like. Um, yeah, man, that's a lot of, uh, see this vibro sword wasn't here and we had seven tons for heat sinking, this would be perfect. Because if we do, if we go here for a second, um, and where are our heat sinks here part double heat sinks if we put seven of these in i'll put six of these in and then if we had a uh exchanger or whatever proper exchanger we could do that and uh where are you here so barring the overweight Heat sinking is only 68 with all that. Alpha strike is 140 with six larges, really? Oh, we're not over by seven. We'd have one more. We'd have one more ton. Where are you here? Yeah, I don't know. Shut down on 194 heat. Is that adding up correctly? Doesn't seem like it's adding up correctly. Because this is minus 20, minus 30, 4, 8, 12, another 20, minus 54 percent. So minus 54 percent from 240 it's like 120 something well that's about right yeah yeah it's about right I mean if we put this in it weighs more but uh, it doesn't even tell us here it's minus another 10 percent but it's not giving us that anyway uh, let's go back Um, to grab our ferro-lamellar. Um, now we got really great heat, heat efficiency. Uh, it's just four ER larges. Um, We could do your medium span as spam, but we don't want it to go spammy here. Um, large improved heavy laser. That's four tons. Put this in here. Um, what are we at now? Yeah. Um, a 
70 heat. Um, and just to see what our chance to hit is. I want to get a clan exchanger in here. It's going to be far better than this one. That'll help a bit more. Um, the other way to go is put ERPPCs in the arms. This is bigger damage, 510 range though. Like this guy's just going to be standing back, right? 750 range. So if we take these out and we go with our ER peeps, right? We're overweight. What's our heat at right now? Yeah. Um, so speed, 4 8. Um, let's go to here and grab, uh, where are you here? Drops it slightly. Wow. That Vibro Sword is killing us, man. Seven tons. But the damage reduction on this thing, it's like, it's tanky as hell. That Vibro Sword is killing us. The other way to do this would be to... Um, Split these up and go this route. Route of slots. Unless we go this will give us the ability to cycle stuff a little better. Um, got three slots left. Right? Way better heat seeking. We can cycle off at ER medium. Well, it's not the best build in the world. It's definitely going to be accurate as hell, though. Let's try it for three million, because why not? And then we're gonna fix our uh, timber wolves. Okay, let's fix the night gear first. Got some damage on this guy. Let's fix it up. That's all it is. Um, let's have a look really quick here. Yeah, no, let's stay with this for now. Right. I'll get it. Um, so now, oops, we want to go to the D first. We want to do the D first because I want to pull off the uh, one of the... Um, there we go. So next episode, we're going to have these guys back and we're going to be using them. So let's pull these out. We're going to take a weapon mount off. Uh, let's take the patchwork out for now. We're probably not going to need all these heat sinks. Uh, we're going to leave these on. Uh, leave these for now. Let's just look at our ballistic because we want to go to. Um, we got tons of ultra twenties. Uh, where are you here? Ultra twenty clan dropping it on. Not worried about the tonnage just yet. Um, because we can make that up without a problem. And let's look for our ultra ammo, which is right here. Now we've got double loads of ammo. Gives us a few extra shots. We're going to split these up because we're going to be running double on two mechs. 
so that's 22 it's 11 turns of firing I think if we need more than 11 turns of firing we are in a lot of trouble uh, let's pull the heat clan heat bank off um, what are we at here heat sinking wise with this we're really really good we could probably pull the exchanger as well how are we doing now pretty good still uh, we have e-cooling plus five so let's leave the exchanger on there and we don't need the plus five e-cooling we got space and everything um, do we have any e-cooling at all down at the bottom I think they are yeah we got a plus three here we could drop well we really can only use a plus one what's our heat sinking at right now that's actually pretty good so two ER large lasers and an ultra 20 Um, these for closing and pinpoint and this for hammering so I think that's the way we want to go now we need case and everything in here and I think I want to split the ammo between torsos so we got to figure out how we're going to do that um, patchwork can stay here let's not move it around now do we have this is the got an NSS on it. I wonder if we should just switch that up. That gives us a lot more weight, but we won't be able to do it with both mechs. We could go with just regular Pharaoh. If we go with regular Pharaoh, because we're going to be moving at full speed. These guys are going to be going up full speed. We got the Nova CEWS on it. Um, we could do this too. That's three tons though. Um, where's our case two here? Split it up on either side. We got one ton left roughly. Okay, let's consider the energy for a second. I mean, we could go with a second ballistic. And that way our heat sinking, we wouldn't have to worry about heat sinks and stuff. We'd save some weight that way. But then we'd be all ammo. I guess the other way would just to be to split the ER large into two by putting two ER mediums we gain two tons for the same heat or we go with medium pulses but then it's the same weight because if we do this take the ER large off and put ER medium on each arm that gives us three tons which means we could put the TTS weapons in where are you here down here somewhere Where are you here? We wouldn't be able to have it in both of our mechs, but we could put it in one. Heat efficiency is actually pretty good overall. We can just cycle a medium laser on and off. I'm actually feeling pretty confident with this build. We could take a couple points off here. So we got minus one recoil reduction, minus two recoil reduction. This has only got two recoil. This is the, this will be our hammer. We'll get a pair of these running. Let's confirm this. Okay, let's get this one going. Um, so repair. And we'll put one ER large over here. Let's pull out. Exchanger can stay. Double heat sinks can come out. Don't know if we need the patchwork or the heat bank. Pull out the heat bank. Uh, let's see where we're at here. So now we should have a ER large can come off. Uh, we got Clan Endo. We were using Pharaoh on the other one as well. Um, we want to do. 
Where are you here? We had a we got an exchanger on this one, upper arm. Well, not this one. Sorry, weapon mount. And then let's go to our ultra twenty. Ultra auto can twenty ammo, one two, and then the double. Right. Uh, then our ultra twenty. in the arm uh, and we want a couple of medium lasers ER medium, ER medium how are we doing here? we're way more heat efficient on this mech because we have the plus 5 cooling that's why that's why um, Get down to plus three. Okay, now do we have um, TTSs here? We need to get a fire control system in this guy as well. Uh, we do have a TTS plus two energy weapons. It wouldn't give us everything, but. We have the ballistic as well, minus two recoil. Does this give us reduced energy output damage? Increased range, critical chance. Um, like we could go with the ballistic. Recoil reduction. Give our AC more accuracy. Although we do have this as well. So if we go with that, we could make this guy super... Uh, we could make him super accurate with ballistic. Right, we need to increase the armor slightly. Got one ton left over. How's our heat doing? The same, so we're pretty good. It's because we use a lot of patchwork materials on this one. Uh, we got the Nova CWS. Just seeing if there's anything we've missed here. We haven't really. Um, we got one ton left over. Case, that's what we're missing. We need K Clan Case 2. Ah, good thing I didn't forget that. Perfect. So this guy's super accurate auto cannon build. The other one is pretty accurate overall. So let's confirm this one. So this is going to be back to my kind of old play style. And because we got some C-bills left over, let's have a look at this Black Knight. First of all, let's change the uh, camo pattern on this guy. It's not so plain Jane looking. Eh. Eh. I guess there's really not much other than the uh, speckled pattern. Yeah, I guess we could go with that one. Sure, why not? Uh, let's have a look here. Um, oh, we are in the base because dur. This is all energy too, right? But it's got a five ton sword. Like It's so painful. You know what? We're going to leave this guy. We'll just strip the stuff off and we'll just leave him for now. Maybe max out the armor. We'll come back to him at some point. Let's confirm this. Eight days to max out the armor. Right. I'll get All right, schedule. let's manage our tasks. And then we're going to end the episode here. Let's get the Red Reaver up to the top. 
Timberwolves and stuff are like no, like no time at all here. So three days, all those will be back. Actually, all this will be back. So let's have a look. You know what? I'll find, I'll pick a planet between episodes and we'll go. All right. Uh, so I'm going to end the episode there, guys. Once again, sorry it's a short episode, but, um, you know, like I said, I'm not feeling very well. So chances are I'm not going to be recording tomorrow. So just want to make sure you guys have episodes. All right. So if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions, you know, for uh, energy build for that uh, Black Knight, um, you know, I'm wondering if we, now that we've built the Red Reaper, I wonder if we should have used the loadout that we currently have on that one on the other Black Knight and the Red Reaper just filled it with like a bigger engine and lots of pulse lasers for close in brawling. I mean, we're, we're dedicated in this episode, in this uh, series to no melee. So uh, anyway, I'll, I'll leave, you know, put some comments in the comment section. Give me some suggestions. We can change things up. Uh, I still have a bunch of clan gear that I could sell. Um, like, we have multiples of a lot of things that I'm not going to be selling. Like, I had 26 medium pulse lasers. You know what I mean? Clan pulse lasers. So, you sell a bunch of those and you get a million C-bills pretty much. So, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So, you know, drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.